Now is a once in a generation opportunity in the US for semiconductor manufacturing. Arizona is at the middle of that, and ASU is a key part of what's going on in microelectronics in Arizona. Historically, electronics got better by making transistors smaller. And in the past, the advances in semiconductors came from what we've all heard about as Moore's Law. The last 50 years of following Moore's Law has enabled us to experience the, the IT revolution that we've experienced, that the internet, mobile phones, the whole IT revolution has been driven with Moore's Law. But we've reached a fundamental limit where we can't make things better just by making transistors smaller anymore. That actually means that the next generation that we always expected in about one, one and a half to two year span, that might not happen through the conventional method. That has come to a point where it's harder and harder and more expensive to continue to scale for cost effectiveness and performance. And so we have to come up with a new way. And that new way, we think, is advanced packaging. Advanced packaging allows us to put chips together in new ways to achieve new functionalities, to speed up electronics, to make them do new tricks without making transistors smaller. The products of the future are being enabled by advanced semiconductor packages. So it's not just continuing Moore's law, it's potentially more than more. We're at a unique time with the CHIPS Act and all of the excitement around microelectronics. Arizona has a long history in semiconductor and microelectronics innovation and manufacturing. We have lots of leaders in the packaging industry. We're a hot spot for semiconductor manufacturing. We're growing like we did back in the 70s and early 80s. If we continue to expand, even if we just maintain the current pace, if we can maintain that through the right investments, the numbers are staggering. For every thousand workers in semiconductor manufacturing, that generates tax revenue equivalent to a Super Bowl. So every thousand is the equivalent of landing a Super Bowl in the state each year. And we're not talking about a thousand, we're talking about tens of thousands. The key thing that's very attractive about the Valley is the whole supply chain, the value chain. Not having that supply chain in place can significantly affect the economy. Several years ago, ASU made a decision to become a national leader in semiconductor packaging. Every time that we talk with a company, they want to know how can we produce more talent and faster, despite the fact that we're already graduating nearly 7,000 engineers per year. So we've started to implement a strategy to position ourselves accordingly. And so the excitement generated by the CHIPS Act and the responsiveness of the state of Arizona, of ASU and the local industry has really pulled the university and industry together, making strong connections and making sure that ASU is working on the most important problems. And ASU's packaging play in collaboration with DECA is a part of that. DECA is super excited to have our new partnership with ASU. A fan out wafer level packaging prototype line. And that includes more than 20 new pieces of equipment that will enable this process. And folks can work together on a foundation of technology that's being provided by DECA and integrated by ASU. And from that foundation, they can innovate many, many different types of solutions for the future. It's partnerships with industry that uh, both allow ASU to solve important problems and allow industry to figure out where they should go next. Advanced packaging today, for all the buzz that we, that we hear out there, is really in its infancy. Arizona keeps successfully attracting these amazing companies. If we can control our own destiny, that's an opportunity that not everybody has. Not every state is in this position. If I could be in any state over the next decade or two related to advising on economic development policy, education policy, it would be Arizona. I want to see an expansion vision, not just for the next two years, but for the next 10 or 20 years. It puts ASU as a leader, as the leader for this great region not just as a provider of talent through education, but also as a research and development leader, as the source of new and innovative companies that might grow up to be the next Intel or TSMC.